Firstly, we must check for a sensor supply. This can be done by applying the positive to pin 1 and the negative to pin 3. We should see something around 16 volts if the sensor is working correctly. When testing with a more advanced multimeter for frequency, you must place the meter in the Hertz mode and place the positive on TB2 pin 2 and the negative on TB2 pin 3. This will show the frequency. This is the speed of the shaft multiplied by the number of pulses, which is 8 in this case, then divided by 60 seconds, which will give you the frequency. This readout should match the calculation for your current shaft speed. Again, this is the process for testing frequency with a more advanced meter. If the sensor is running on a slow speed shaft, you will see pulses on the voltmeter, and if the sensor is running on a high speed shaft, over 50 RPM, the readout will be approximately half of the power supply. When testing the switch with the scope, Hook the scope up to TV2, pin 2, and 3, where pin 3 is the common. If you have an oscilloscope and have a 50-50 duty cycle, you know that you are centered on the disc. If you have any irregularity with the signal, then you may be experiencing runoff. You need to better adjust your sensor and sensor target. 